Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Now, who would have thought that the Lego Company, by way of Warner Brothers Entertainment, would have grown to become such an entertainment powerhouse akin to Leica Entertainment or Illumination Entertainment? Pfft, not me, I tell ya! And I love building with Legos, don't get me wrong, but 2014's The Lego Movie caught us all by surprise with its depth and imaginative wit, and earlier this year The Lego Batman Movie was an irreverent love letter to the comic book superhero while still telling a fun story by way of a full-blown assault on the funny bone. So now we have the Lego Ninjago movie, and it's, uh, that's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Based on the existing Ninjago line of Lego building sets and the subsequent Netflix animated series that was created to market those Lego sets, the Lego Ninjago movie simply isn't as inspired as those first two Lego movies. Its target for satire isn't as wide, and its characters aren't as rich or lovable. The jokes, however, are just as funny, and just as plentiful. The world, once again constructed almost exclusively out of CGI Lego bricks, is still rich and detailed, and gorgeous to look at, especially in 3D. However, this time around, it's the story, which is pretty standard stuff. And uh, that's not bad. It's fine. It's all perfectly fine. It's just that perfectly fine isn't what I'm accustomed to getting from Lego at this point. Ninjago tells the story of a team of multicolored teenage ninjas and their sensei, Master Wu, as they battle the evil Lord Garmadon, who lives in a volcano just off the coast of Ninjago City and constantly rampages through the city just for kicks. However, since one of the ninjas, Lloyd, is the son of Garmadon, the story's really gonna be about him. This leaves behind a bunch of other ninjas, all of them with characters character names, all with their own powers, all of them voiced by great comedic actors that have nothing to do except to take part in the big group action fights. Heck, one of the characters is voiced by Kubmail Nanjani, and I think he only gets one joke and it's in the trailer. So what the heck is the focus of Ninjago then? Well, it's the daddy issue stuff, unfortunately. And although Justin Thoreau is hilarious as the gravelly voiced Lord Garmadon, in the pantheon of colorful and bombastic Lego characters, he definitely trails behind Lord Business and Batman. And the father-son stuff just sort of drags the center of the movie too far away from its adventure slash kung fu roots. You know, there's a quest in there, kinda, and there's training for like half a second but the ninjas are all almost fully trained when we meet them at the beginning of the film. They really just have to deal with the very simple threat of Lord Garmadon and all of his rampages and Lloyd's struggle to develop his own identity and yada yada. Look, look, it's all very fine, okay? It's fine, but it could have been much better. So look, I'm gonna award the Lego Ninjago movie a medium bag of popcorn because it meets the standard requirements for solid family entertainment and then some. There are loads of funny gags to keep everyone entertained, some mind-blowingly cool designs like the city itself, and Garmadon's vehicle of choice, a giant shark, armed with an arm cannon that shoots sharks at people. I mean, come on, it's got Jackie Chan killing it as Master Wu. I hear he even choreographed some of the Lego fight sequences. It's fun, it's eye candy, it's, it's got heart, even if it doesn't have much soul. If the Lego movie is about what happened when you build with reckless abandon, then the Lego Ninjago movie shows you what happens when you simply stick to the instructions. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the Lego Ninjago movie in the comments as well, so let me have them. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and go, go, Ninjago!